Welcome back to Lightspeed Junior. I'm your junior artist, Maxwell. Today for Maxi Peace Theater, I present to you Ollie and Rocco's Adventures and the Garden of Bam Bam comic series. I hope you enjoy. Lightspeed Junior presents the horror game, Garden of Bam Bam. Chapter 1 Garden of Bam Bam Chapter 1 Welcome to the daycare Once upon a time there were two kids named Ali and Rocco and they went to Bam Bam's kindergarten They found a mysterious drone but they found two batteries with the remote controller They went to a pillow bird's playground to collect her six eggs And they had to guess the colors over the pit the Apollo Bird gives chase on the two players, but unfortunately, the Apollo Bird was sent down to the pit. But when they got into the elevator, Jumbo Josh came and crashed them down. To be continued in Chapter 2. Next up, Chapter 2. Garden of Bam Bam 2. Chapter 2. The Friendly and Helpful Devil. After the crash of the elevator with Jumbo Josh, they had to continue their mission, but they saw a mysterious spider. On security cameras, there was Bam Bam. There were new mascots such as Celestine, Sheriff Toaster, and Nab Nab. Nab Nab gives chase, and they had to go across the arrows. Bam Bam knocked them out, and since he got all the key cards, Ollie and Rocco did surgery on the captive fiddles, but there was a giant version and had to get his eye out. Then they encountered Zulfius, a creepy worm-like creature. The Opelibur came from his climactic fall. They encountered Bambolina, the teacher, and they had to collect Opelichek to Then they found Celestine and played a game. They were looking for seashells and using cannons on Stinger Flynn's room. And they did parkour across the pit. They found Bam Bam. Bambolina and Jumbo Josh give chase. But Bambolina got smashed by Jumbo Josh and taken away. Slowly saw them over the elevator. To be continued in Chapter 3. Next up, Chapter 3. Garth and the Bam Bam Free. Chapter 3, Jelly Melody and Pancreas Pursuit. They introduce a new mascot known as Queen Bouncelia. Then they had to collect crayons in the cafeteria. They found Nam Nap staring at them. They encountered a colossal jellyfish named Stinger Flynn, and he brought us to one of his memories. First was the tropical island. Stinger Flynn explains his story of how he became big in the first place, and after that dream, the two players had to collect buckets for Toaster's Jail and hop to the music on the lily pads. Nab Nab really wants Nab Nalina. So they did surgery on Namnalina to make him not lonely anymore. Uh, there, Nam Nab and Namnalina were united. But Stinger Flint saw them and he brought him to another memory. And this time we're riding in a car across a vast desert. And then they crashed into the cactus because Stinger Flint was distracted. And they woke up in Jumbo Josh's lounge with Nab Nab and Bambolina. Jumbo Josh will check on you to make sure everything isn't moved. Bambolina was doing some equation, but the kids were confused. But Bambolina escaped, and now she said goodbye. Then they went to the progressive sector, but Tartarbur won't let them touch the old chick. Then they saw a mysterious contraption known as Mr. Kabam Man, but in the dragon fight room, they encountered Tamataki and Kamataki. Eventually, swallowing the rocket caused them to fall into the abyss. 
When they saw an African called Bomb Man, Ollie got onto Tartabird's back, but Stinger Fling got Bam Bam in one of his tentacles, and Bam Bam turned feral. Ba the feral Bam Bam gives chase among amongst the Tartar and the Pillar but Jumbo Jaw saved the day by smashing him to the ground. But eventually, he smashed the jellyfish too, since he ate a lot of vegetables. Then they bought no pillow chick with them. To be continued in chapter 4. Garden of Ban Ban 4. Garden of Ban Ban 4. Chapter 4 The Sheriff and the Lost Kingdom. When they got off the elevator, Tamataki and Kamataki give chase, but they squeezed through a hallway and they couldn't get past. A mysterious figure knocked them out, and they had to answer some yes or no questions to the mascots they've seen so far. The sheriff shows them a new location, also known as the kingdom. Queen Bouncilia wants them to collect three elevator parts, and Sheriff Tessler says we have to block the jester away. They had to collect tickets, but Rocco saw the mysterious figure. Sheriff Tulsa explains how he was rescued by the queen. The two kids were trapped in the door, but they saw a snake puppet through the shadows. And it was Bitter Giggle, aka the jester, the whole time. Sheriff Toaster was able to save the two kids from Bitter Giggle. And we get to use an old pillow chick as the sound of danger. Sheriff Toaster and the two kids got the first elevator part. Queen Mousilia told the two kids that someone was waiting them in the infirmary, and it was Bam Bam who told them that he was controlled. Then they encountered Stinger Flynn in the infirmary. And now we've gone to one of the memories, and we were camping around the burning wreckage of a car. But then Choo Choo Charles came, and he was so horrifying. Bam Bam explained that he was once a scientist of men, but then Jumbo Josh was snared away by Sheriff Tulsa's trap, and then they went to a laboratory with experience of the jester. Then they saw a code that says OK, and they did it, and Bam Bam opened up the door. But Nam Nam took away Mr. Cobb Bowman since he was so lonely. Bam Bam and the players give chase. Eventually, Bam Bam won the fight with Nab Nab. And he told him to retrieve the second part and head back, but without him. Then there were more faces in the toaster archives. They had to go to the last room for the last elevator part. The two players had to guess which room is different. Bitter Giggle trapped the two players into a room with Kitty Saurus. But Kitty Saurus fell down because he hit too many red buttons. Then they had to collect eight crystals for the chair. But Bitter Giggle trapped them as soon as they got the last elevator part. The Bitter Giggle went to the kingdom, but when she jumped, the Opelichick fell down into a barrel of Javanium. Now transformed into a hideous monster. When the jester told the joke to the queen, the naughty ones escaped, and Sheriff Toaster led the two players into the elevator. They found Stinger Flynn on the elevator too, and we need to find the queen's scepter. To being continued in the finale, chapter 5. Garten of Bam Bam 5. Garten of Bam Bam 5. Chapter 5, the jester and the jolly jokes. Sheriff Tulsar is so worried about the bad stuff that happened. Stinga Flynn manages to use electricity to open up doors. Bitter Giggle found the Queen's scepter and it transformed into his own scepter for jokes and laughter. Now there are two new mascots, Chef Pixter and Silent Steve. But Sheriff Tulsar and Stinger Flynn saved the day. Sheriff Tulsa threw a toast star while Stinger Flynn electrocuted the Cobra. Now the both of them were defeated. They were back to normal, but Jester was so mad that he set up a trap for the two heroes, and they were both sad. 
Vader Giggle commanded the naughty ones to take care of the two kids, and now they ended up tearing them and beating them up. So yeah, after that climatic fight, they were hiding from the Jester, but the Jester knocked them out with the Scepter. And now they woke up in the Doctor Room with Syringian, the new mascot, aka the Doctor. They were so horrified by the looks of him, but eventually, Stinger Flynn and Sheriff Toaster saved them. Jumbo Josh explains that he was trapped by Bitter Giggle and they went to Bitter Giggle's family. Opilla Monster returned from the fight with Kitty Zars, and Ollie wanted the monster to remember the good times, but Kitty Zars was here. But eventually, rocks falling on Kitty Zars made him die, and Opilla got caught by Bitter Giggle since he was mad that Kitty Zars died. Bam Bam was behind Bitsy Giggle, and now he got him. But eventually, the one of the naughty ones kicked him, and he was down. Ollie and Rocco were crying because Bam Bam is about to die. But the criminals from the Toaster Archives decided to beat up Bitty Giggle. But eventually, Bitty Giggle explains his sad story, and he wants to make things right. So he commanded the Naughty Ones to stop, and Nam Nab and Zulfius trapped the Naughty Ones in the jar. Now the Naughty Ones will return to the Queen, and she gave and he gave her her scepter, and he gave and he sucked the Javanium out of Opilachik, and now Opila Bird has her own daughter now. And they, and both of them decided to make a TV series. And all the criminals from the Tulsa Archives were happy to be free. Bam Bam was so thankful for Ollie's help. And now, this is where our story ends. V and...